the knowledge center today in this video let me explain you regarding the 8051 family members we have different manufacturers of 8051 we also uh, go insight about the different manufacturers of 8051 and various types of uh, microcontrollers manufactured by uh, different companies like uh, atmel the last semiconductor so on okay so first let us begin with the uh, 8051 family members so here i have made some comparisons regarding the 8051 family members so let's have a look over that actually we have 8051 8052 and 8031 all these three are of a uh, similar kind of a microcontrollers but with some changes so generally when we go for a microcontroller these are the features which has to be considered uh, by selecting a microcontroller so if you consider the rom that is read only memory that is an on chip memory means this rom memory is used to write a program this is the space provided for writing the program and this is an 8 bit so it is in terms of bytes so if you go for an 8051 that is going to be a 4k 4k in the sense 4 into 1024 1024 that much of memory is reserved for writing a program but when you go for an 8052 it is double okay it is 8k and here in 8031 we don't have any memory for writing a program it means if there is no space for writing a program then why should you use it isn't it that will be the question we will be having now the only thing what you need to understand here is 80k is nothing but the inbuilt memory is zero but you can add the additional memory to write a program so 8031 when you consider the rom for 8031 there is no on chip memory for 8031 there is no on chip rom for 8031 but definitely we have to write a program so to do that what we do we will add or we will give additional connection for the 8031 so when we go when we go for an additional or extra device which is to be connected we need to make use of a ports to connect the additional memory there what happens uh, two extra ports means we actually have four ports for 8031 among these four ports two ports are reserved to connect the external memory for writing a program that will be a problem in 8031 means we are wasting those two ports to just connect the additional memory whereas means we remaining two pro, we can only use remaining two ports for input and output devices right to avoid that we can also go for an another option here that is 8255 8031 can be interfaced with a 8255 so that it can be interconnected with the external memory so that we study in detail in further chapters okay so this is about the on chip memory of all these three different types of ana microcontrollers same way we have a ram which is also bytes random access memory that is to store the data randomly okay to store the data like inputs if you want to give some input and if you want to get the output we can use this memory and <coughs> space reserved for 8051 is 128 bytes that is from 00 to 7f in hexa decimal you can take it like this so 128 bytes in 8051 if you consider 8052 it is double 256 and here it is 128 again so you can make the comparison we have both same memory here in 8051 and 8031 we have same internal ram okay then timers we have two timers in 8051 we name it as t0 and t1 that is timer 0 and timer 1 when you go for 8052 there we have one more extra additional timer that is timer 2 <coughs> but again in 8031 it's similar to the 8051 you can compare we have same timer seen in 8031 then the input output ports we have four ports in 8051 and all other ics also having the same 8031 is also having four ports even this is going to have same four ports each port will be of an 8 bits or 8 pin so we can say there are 32 pins reserved for ports 32 pins reserved for ports generally the ic of 8051 is of 40 pin among the 40 pin ic 32 pins are for just reserved for ports remaining 8 pins are some other uh, important parameters so that we will discuss when we take up the pin configuration okay so these ports are available same ports we have in all the ics then serial port communication yes there is a requirement of a serial port communication port <coughs> which will be 
used to receive or to transmit the data. And every 8051, 520-8031, all are having the same number of serial port communication. Okay? And that is the communication port, in other words, we call it as. Then interrupt sources. So in 8051, I told you that there are five interrupts. Three plus two, that is nothing but uh, three, <coughs> that is nothing but three internal interrupts and two external interrupts. This is what I have explained in architecture. Yes, definitely there are three internal interrupts and two external interrupts. But here I have mentioned it as six because we have to consider another in interrupt that is reset. Even reset can also be considered as an interrupt. So these are the defined interrupts and this is a common interrupt for all the cases, for all the ACs. So if you consider reset, we get six interrupts. Okay. So we have six interrupts in 8051 and the same six interrupts in 8031 whereas in 8052 we have eight. Okay. So now I have just provided tick mark here in 8051 and in 8031 only to show you that rest of this instead of having come when I compare this only this there is a difference only in a ROM we have a difference but rest of the cases everything is same you just observe here we have same quantity of features from 8031 and 8051 when you compare it only the thing we don't have the ROM or inbuilt ROM for 8031 so in other words we can say 8031 as ROMless 8051 in short, we can say it is a ROMless 8051. ROMless means there is no ROM here, inbuilt ROM. Other than that, the rest of the things are same. It is similar to 8051. So I can call it as a ROMless 8051. Right? Then we have an advantage of this. That is, here the maximum quantity is a 4K. But when you go for an 8031, we can extend it up to 64K. Means additionally, I can add. 64k memory for ROM to write a program. That is an advantage here, right? Definitely each and every IC will have its own advantages. That is what one of the point here. I hope this part is clear. Now, let us go for an, uh, different manufacturers. Like let us see different types of uh, ICs in Atmel and different types of microcontrollers in Dela Semiconductor. Let's move for that. So on board you can see now, I have mentioned two companies and different ICs among those two companies. So the first portion, this is the Dallas Semiconductor. These are the uh, very famous manufacturing companies. DA stands for Dallas Semiconductor. They develop the microcontrollers. And they have different microcontrollers in series here. DS 89C, 420 and 430, that is one series. Same way we have different series here. Whereas AC stands for the CMOS, that is a way of manufacturing the IC. Okay. So we can look into the ROM, RAM, input output pins. Here I have not mentioned the input output ports, but how many pins are reserved for that input output ports? That has been mentioned here. Then timers, what is it going to have? Interrupts and the working voltage, that is operating voltage. Okay, everything you can observe it here. See, these are all almost 8, 8, DS89C440450 and we have different names. But you look at this DS5000. This is going to be similar to the 8051 but with one small change that is ROM. Whereas in 8051 we had 4K ROM but here we have 8K ROM and it is NVRAM, non-volatile RAM, random access memory means even though there is no supply the data will be stored in it. Okay. And remaining thing is as similar as what we have in 8051. It is going to have 128 bit RAM, 32 pins for ports. 2 timers, 6 interrupts and operating voltage is the same, 5 volt. So that is the reason why I have highlighted it. Okay, We can say that DS5000 is similar to 8051 with only one change that is the ROM size. It is of 8K whereas in 8051 we have 4K. This is about Dallas Semiconductor series. Here only the thing the timers, somewhere there is a difference in timer but all having the same interrupts, 6 interrupts with operating voltage same. right? But input pins also same, only the thing RAM and ROM size is different. If you want to go for a higher ROM, then you can go for an DS89C450 where we have 64K. And the F indicates that is flash memory. How the program are erased, that is important. So that is how it has been differentiated here. Okay, if they are using flash memory, here we are using UV ROM, here we are using NVRAM 
and this is 0k. This part is of 0k. Again, it is similar to the 8031, but with different parameters also. Okay. So, we don't have any on chip wrong here. That is an indication. Next, we have an Atmel company. That is another manufacturing company. Atmel, which stands for 80 here. Uh, short, short part, we have mentioned it as an 80. And 89C51 is generally and widely used. Right. So, this is 4K. A 128, 32 pins, 2 timers, 6 interrupt and 5 volt. Right. So, the rest of the cases we have different Atmel ICs. Here LV, this LV stands, we can say that it is a, that a low voltage. Rest of the thing is C, is CMOS. And the operating voltage is different here. So, this is of 3 volt. Even this part is of 3 volt. And we have different in number of interrupts here. So, we can understand that there are different companies like Intel, IBM, Philips. We have different manufacturers who are developing or manufacturing the microcontrollers and just there is a difference between these parameters someone may increase the timer and someone may increase the interrupt and there may be difference between the RAM and the ROM size so these are the main features which has to be observed while selecting the microcontroller each producer will have their own design I hope this the types of or different versions of microcontroller has been clear for you if it is clear, share among your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.